Hello everyone, this is Clone Plays, and welcome to another Tips and Tricks video for Terraria. So in this episode of the series, I'll be showing you how to make your own texture packs, because in the last one I showed you how to find texture packs on the internet. So, how to make your own texture packs. This is very useful if you want to do specific things, like I needed to make clone armor for my character so you know who, especially in the Let's Play Together series, who I am and who's the other person. So, what you'll want to do is first uh, get out of Terraria and you'll want to first go to this website or go to Google and type in convert uh, Terraria then you'll want to download this tool and go to this this form page for T convert T convert will help you later on in, and I'll show you how to use it later in the video now what you want to do is go to your uh, file explorer go to your main drive Go to Program Files, this one with the x86. Go to Steam, go to Steam Apps, go to Common, go to Terraria, and you'll come to this page, which has a bunch of stuff, all the different information that allows Terraria to run, including some other things. Apparently I have uh, a ver or, uh, an application for the old, uh, the old version of Terraria before 1.3, or 1.4 came out, so that's pretty cool. Uh, anyways though, now you want to go to content and if you're just going to change textures you'll want to go to images. If you're going to change how things sound, you want sounds. And I believe you can also change, you can change these things as well in your texture pack as well if you want to. I'll show you how to change uh, textures though. Just basic uh, images and stuff. So in here are all of the images and all of the textures that you see in the entire game of Terraria. Even all the gore and all the items and all the NPCs and enemies and everything. So, let's go back to T-Convert. Uh, so you'll want to download obviously the latest version and then you'll want to install and all that stuff. I already have it installed so I won't show you that part but once you get it installed you will have this icon if you make an icon where it's the Terraria tree plus a little box with some tape on it. Open that up and then you will want to first uh, open this up again, your file explorer that you used to get to the images page, uh, file, folder rather, and you'll want to tell tconvert where that is so it knows where all, it wants to know where all the uh, files and things are. So tell that right there. And then you can do a bunch of different things. You can use this program to convert your worlds from like master mode to journey mode and vice versa. But if you use the extract option, you can make, I believe you also need to set this folder. Sorry, I took a breath there. You need to set this input folder, which I believe is this folder right here and the, another output folder. So typically like for me, I just made a folder on the desktop. So you would do that, click desktop and then just go find that random file. So new file for me. This is the one that you want to set as, or this one you want to set as the, uh, as the uh, images file folder that you have opened and have now learned where everything is. So I'm struggling a little bit because it's been a little bit since I've done this, but now that I've got that, so that should be good do that and then you'll want to click extract and it'll take a little bit so I'll cut here alright so it finally finished extracting took that much time finish basically the reason you want that program is these uh, dot X and B files you can't really open but that program can open them and convert them into PNG files so now all of these are just images and you can do whatever you want with them now you can open them up in photoshop and change them my uh for me for instance i if i open up this one because i have uh already done this process before for my textures i made a little armor guide so if you guys want this let me know this is an armor guide for uh figuring out different things about the armors because i will tell you right now if you're gonna uh make custom textures for the different armors uh, good luck there's a lot that's a 
that's the uh, beauty and also a hindrance of Terraria. There's so many different textures that you can definitely customize the game that you want, but you have a lot of textures to change if you're going to do so. So for me, I ended up changing head armor 32, head or armor 32, head armor head 52, and armor legs 31 which in game are is known as the wooden armor set so yeah now you can uh, change all of the textures that you want for the entire game including the trees and the moon and different things like that to your heart's content thank you for uh joining me for this tips and tricks episode and i will see you guys in the next one and remembered every clone has its roots in the original bye bye